some very exciting experiments to find out something about electricity. But have you ever stopped to wonder how a little thing like this can carry enough electricity in it to light a bulb or run a radio? The motor car has been a key factor in all the ways we do business in America. But it has had even greater effect on the way we live and the pleasure we get out of living. Way back, 1900s, we had more electric cars than gas cars. People who believe in electric cars really want them. We're about to set off on the first EVRT Africa. It's nine days of driving, around 2,000 kilometers, and we're using these amazing electric vehicles. We've got the BMW i3s, we've got Nissan Leaf, and the Jaguar i -Pace. So We're so excited to be able to drive such cool brands, such cool models over the next nine days. So we are at the EVRT Africa Pretoria to Cape Town Drive. I'm about to uh, drive the Nissan Leaf and I'm expecting the sound of a big roaring V8. Let's see what happens. I'm excited about the fact that we're here. Uh, you know, I think we're one step closer to what the future looked like in our heads in the 80s. So, you know, I think we're finally catching up to the future we envisaged as little kids and um, hopefully it'll become normal and not just an event. So we're here day one of EVRT Africa and it's very sunny today and we are heading off to EV Dynamics. It's the first electric vehicle manufacturer to manufacture minibus taxis and buses and we're really excited to visit them because they have some amazing plans for building electric vehicles, selling them across Africa but also overseas to countries across the world. Hi guys, Manzal from EV Dynamics. We are a manufacturer and builder of minibuses and buses locally in South Africa. We are accredited by the Department of Transport. We were invited to join the Smart Mobility event and especially with the road trip going down to Cape Town and the connections that we made and the outlooks that we've seen on stage, it was just awesome and we are so humbled and honoured to be able to be part of this journey. Um, my name is Juliet Maguire, I'm a motoring journalist and have been for 12 years and I came on this event because I always get to take any opportunity actually to drive any EV because it's very seldom. I think these initiatives are very important for our industry, if anything, so it gets more coverage and hopefully it gets our governments off their, off their um, backsides uh, to do something about it because unfortunately they get sort of lost to the wayside because no one can really necessarily afford them at this point um, and of course we don't have an infrastructure for enough of them to be sold in the country so I think things like this maybe shows people that it can be done you can do a road trip it doesn't have to just be short things but yeah I think it's a, a thing that we need to see more of these kinds of initiatives. I think EVRT Africa 2019 is such a great initiative because South Africa is such a beautiful country and I think we're just doing more damage the more that we're driving petrol or you know fuel cars and now by incorporating and really promoting electric vehicles I think we're starting to benefit our environment a lot more. So we've just left BE today. We went to visit Nelson Mandela University because there's an initiative taking place there called UILO, uh, e-mobility program. And it's basically a nationwide program that's focusing on really investing and supporting into startups, into research, um, lots of development and testing going on there. And uh, it's probably the backbone of South Africa's um, e-mobility evolution. An event like the Electric Vehicle Road Trip Africa I think will help 
raise consumer awareness about electric vehicles and also reduce the myths surrounded by electric vehicles like uh, range anxiety and the availability of charging infrastructure. The Uilo e-mobility program was initiated by the Technology Innovation Agency which forms part of the Department of Science and Innovation and we are mandated to enable and mobilize the adoption of electric vehicles within South Africa and we focus on collaborating with stakeholders and looking at technologies within the green sector and within the ICT sector as well as working with OEMs to develop infrastructure for electric vehicles and to also assist OEMs with testing for electric vehicles. Hiten Palmer, director of the National Uyilo e-mobility program, to which the program is delivering to enabling, facilitating, mobilizing electric mobility in South Africa. What we're seeing here today is more awareness around electric mobility, the benefits of the technology, and driving more awareness within the communities in South Africa on that context. Electric vehicles provide an opportunity uh, of uh, the benefit of the utilization and as well as uh, benefits on the utilization of the vehicles in terms of savings, uh, not only for the user itself, but as well as for the environment and contribution to the energy ecosystem through utilizing electric vehicle batteries. And it's great to share experiences today of what Uilo has been doing together with Generation E and driving more adoption uh, and awareness around uh, the technologies itself. Uh, so electric vehicles, I think each country has its challenges and, and, and uh, experiences around that. It's what we see need to see is broader awareness and, and greater uptake around that. We're seeing electric vehicle models being available from the OEMs. Uh, we need to see better uptake in each and every country and activities such as this that we've witnessed today is driving more awareness and uptake in that context uh, of increasing the knowledge uh, and awareness of electric vehicles that will then eventually drive uh, adoption in every country, uh, specifically South Africa in this context. EVRT in this sort of initiatives that drives awareness and the road trip as well brings and highlights the benefits of electric vehicles. It, it takes it right into the communities, into the streets and creates awareness around electric vehicles in that certain in that, in that aspect. So from a student perspective and youth perspective, I think the, the latch on to technology is a value add because you're seeing new technology, everybody's tech, tech savvy in that context uh, and that's a benefit. They're always uh, uh, interested in the uptake of technology and once you expose them to electric vehicles, the benefits of them, the experience of driving electric vehicle, it's a value add and gets their attention. The biggest aspect is always affordability, but that's what we will see through efforts like Uilo, Generation E and other role players uh, that will see the pricing come down on electric vehicles, which will then impact more uptake of, of the vehicles itself. So I am Morris Nechpare, a law student from South Campus. So I basically came this side to test drive cars because of my love for cars. So I wanted to see how different an electric car is from a petrol car. So basically I came here to take it out because I'd never been in an electric car. The quietness, the ability for it to go fastly without even a need for changing gears. Okay, hi guys, my name is Nishpare Travis. Um, I went on the Jag All Electric I-Pace test drive. I love the car. From the, from the get-go, from the moment he accelerated, um, I just fell in love with the car. The car's got instantaneous torque, it's quiet, and it's just, it's, it's like a normal car, except that it doesn't behave like a normal car. There's no combustion, there's no bending of octane, so it's much more safer to the environment. If this is the future, then this is excellent. Stage one is done and it's been just a beautiful stage of interaction. Um, one of my favorite moments was when DJ Fresh dropped the beat and then all of the road trip has danced like crazy for a few hours. Uh, we've had our challenges and I guess the main challenge being, you know, having like 50 road trippers, 60 road trippers driving from Pretoria all the way to PE. Um, lots of charging was happening. It's been what we expected plus more and we knew it would be an incredible journey just because South Africa itself is, is a beautiful country, so diverse. Uh, we've been up mountains, we've been uh, in desert style landscapes, we've been in real urban places in Khao Tang, and now I'm stood here in Jeffreys Bay. 
with the sea to my right and I'm sitting on the sandy beach. You know, it's just, it's just incredible. All right, so yesterday we left Krafrenet and uh, drove to a halfway place, which is Volvofontein. It was beautiful, it's an old hotel, and uh, we bumped into a wedding, which was also beautiful, and we got to film that, and we had a nice, a nice poiki and maquinhas, and um, we drove to PE, which is also beautiful and amazing, always windy. We made it, so I think we're also getting used to the cars and how they drive and recharge and all of that. It's really been a good road trip, learning a lot every day with the cars and the smart technology. People are amazing, everyone's helpful, everyone's friendly, and I really do think that smart mobility is ready to be enrolled into South Africa. We're about to step into stage two. Uh, stage two is going to be more beautiful, I would say, because we've coming up to the garden route so it's going to be green lush and full of flowers um, as we go along some coastal driving and then we head up inland to the Western Cape and then finally down into Cape Town. So electric vehicles for me are quite interesting uh, because I am a bit of a petrol head so when it comes to driving a car I want great power I want great performance so to see a lot of manufacturers now coming to the market with cars that are really starting to compete with the high-end vehicles is really cool to see. The Jag is beautiful. The new Mercedes-Benz is next level. And then of course for the entry levels we've got the Nissan Leaf that really shows that you can have power in an electric vehicle. My experience driving the Nissan Leaf was a very positive one, mainly because I've been waiting to drive it for so long. We've been waiting for it to arrive in South Africa. I uh, know we're still going to wait some time, but um, I did, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I love EVs um, in general. I love how sort of quick and powerful they are. It's kind of a deception. Everyone thinks that they're going to be very slow and very boring, uh, but I really did enjoy it. I'm very excited today because I get to try out the Nissan Leaf and I'm going to be trying out the car that's right behind me, the BMW i3. Uh, I've never driven in the i3 before so I'm really interested to see how BMW is bringing the power to this vehicle. As a massive motorsport fan and a massive motoring fan, you can already start seeing that electric vehicles are making their way into the market. I mean, nowadays the Formula One cars are actually hybrids. Uh, they're not the old V8s that we used to see. So it's really cool to see these things coming through. And the importance of it is even launching it within Formula One, you see that we're starting to build a culture where electric vehicles are actually becoming a trend. They're becoming cool. They're becoming something that's really hip and happening to have and to drive. And it's only beneficial for us and our environment. So I've just gotten out of the BMW i3 and I'm very impressed with it because you'd imagine you get into an electric vehicle and it's sluggish and it doesn't really perform really well but it's quicker than the car that I currently drive to be honest so I'm very impressed and the nice thing about it is it's quiet you get in you push start just like you would with any other normal push start car but the engine doesn't make a single sound and it's on and it's running and it's just really cool we are all away uh, that uh, the world is actually experiencing uh, a catastrophic uh, uh, global warming. Uh, my name is Javlan M. Jali. I am the assistant director in the Department uh, of Transport and I am the project manager for the non-motorized transport. When you are driving the, the, the petrol engine vehicles, you, you normally even feel a little bit of the smell of the petrol. To, uh, because you are driving the, 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 this vehicle. But if you are driving this one, you, 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 you don't feel anything, there's no smell, so everything is moving so smooth. Even the air that you actually breathing, you can feel that you know there's a difference if you are sitting in that car. So that experience was actually great uh, for us. To what stood out for me was actually the smoothness of, of the vehicle. Once you are inside, you don't even feel that uh, the car is actually moving. 
So my name is Mama Khele Sibatani. I'm part of the Nissan team. We're here partnering with the EVRT Africa for the very first all-electric vehicle road trip in Africa. Um, and the experience was absolutely so amazing. I had a great time, got to meet a lot of people that I absolutely fell in love with. And just generally the drive with the vehicles, it was a very smooth drive. Um, I found that the Nissan LEAF was able to actually do 2,000 kilometers from Joburg all the way to Cape Town, which is um, something that's very impressive for electric vehicles because we do know that range anxiety is a bit of a thing so I think this trip really did address um, issues like range anxiety and infrastructure development because we did open up a few charging stations on our way so I think all in all it was an amazing trip and it will achieve what we want to do which is to show the people that electric mobility is here and it's real. Mental road trip has highlighted key topics of conversation, including the provision of infrastructure, a crucial component in the creation of an enabling environment for smarter mobility. So, it's been two years in the planning, and we've had some incredible support, and that's why we're here today. From government, which creates the foundation for us to build this type of industry on, so the private sector has really backed it as well. Uh, as Scouting Department of Roads and Transport, we are so excited to have been part of this exercise. The groundbreaking electric vehicle road trip 2019 is a remarkable initiative that showcased the viability of electric, electric vehicles within South African context. The intention was to promote e-mobility, identify infrastructure challenges, and leave behind a legacy charging station for future use. I'm proud to say that not only did the participants succeed, but they exceeded expectations. We've succeeded, we made it to Cape Town, and we've succeeded on our mission this year, and that mission really was to raise awareness and educate the market.